Hi there everybody, it's Verity here from incubatorfly.wordpress.com. Thank you for joining me again today. And we're going to use a Timeless Tropical um, King Stamp Set today. Uh, but we're going to uh, turn the tropics into um, an autumn uh, themed card using these colours. So three of these are the are in colour. So we've got Bumblebee and Cinnamon Cider, which are two of the newer ones that we uh, got this summer and then we have got terracotta tile from last year and then I'm bringing in some early espresso for um, the sentiment I think I haven't pre-planned well I have pre-planned it but I haven't made a sample okay and all we're going to use is the leaf and we're gonna make it a thank you card or sort of autumn um, and thank yous and stuff for Thanksgiving so I've opted for a early espresso um, car base, cut and folded in the, my usual way and I've gone with a very vanilla um, card layer and the, the sort of the thing that triggered my mind to use these colours was that I had these little scraps on my desk and I thought I could use them uh, nicely to decorate one of the edges of these panels and then I thought about um, using the, the leaves to scatter things around and I think I might do a bit of masking as well so first things first I'm going to um, adhere these strips onto this um, very vanilla piece I'm not sure it matters which which order I do this in or whatever looks good really so I'm just using a little line of uh, wet glue there and I'm just going to position that along the edge there and I think we'll do the bumblebee so that's cinnamon cider this is bumblebee and so these were just little off cuts from a previous project and uh, like I say they just sort of were calling to me from the desk going look make something out make something with me make something autumnal um, just now we, we've had a bit of a colder snap but today it was actually quite warm um, so I think we're, we're due for some warmer weather for a few days despite it being September okie dokie so that's not going to be fully dry yet but um, it will be fine for getting these masked up so I'm going to cover this section because I want to keep this side of the card clean and I'm going to use some post-it notes to mask off that area So that area is now covered by those which means I can stamp on this area there is quite a lip there so I just need to be careful about um, how close I get to um, to that so I'm going to need some scrap paper to work on as well put the lid on that before it dries up And then we'll take our leaf stamp. I think we'll work kind of lightest to darkest. Like I say, I haven't pre-planned this at all. It's just an idea in my head right now. But we're going to do some random stamping. First and second generation ink. Thank you. 
like so. So I'm just press, I'm pressing quite hard there, but it hasn't really uh, met that uh, edge at all. So we'll have to work with that. Okay. See so what happens when you when you just go for it. <laughs> you have to just you've rolled the dice. You just got to go with it. We'll go terracotta tile next. Okay, it's a really rich colour. Really rich. So we're overlapping, we're turning. So, sham is just off to the left there. Okay, now we'll bring in the cinnamon cider. back and fill in around the place Not more at different angles coming in from different places we'll have some more of that there it's a nice colour this cinnamon cider there's browns go Need to put bumblebee in there now. So no particular um, pattern being followed here. I am just going with it. I've got a towel in that corner. Another really nice colour. I do quite like these autumnal colours. The only problem is they are Very autumnal. They don't don't go with a lot of things. You know what I mean? Maybe we just want a couple of darker ones in the middle there. Just to fill in that last space. That's the cinnamon cider. Okay. Swiping that off. And uh the circle. There you go. Yeah. I can live with that little line there. It kinda it, it it's 
kind of equidistant with the uh, with the other pattern so um, I think I can live with that I, think I can live with that just while um, before moving on I'm just going to trim the very ends off here just slightly longer than the base card only ever so slightly okay I think that looks good oh really amazing how when you put the, uh, the background cardstock on there all of a sudden it comes to life going to run some stamping seal around this and just lay that onto the card front like so brilliant and all we need now is our sentiment and maybe I am thinking some gilded gems might be nice just to bring in that kind of golden and golden sort of feel so like I said this is the thank you stamp from the timeless tropical set Does it <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> more wonky than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was straight in my block and I didn't trust myself. <laughs> anyway. Almost did it again then, didn't I? I just need to decide how I want to cut this out. So it is quite a small sentiment. And I'm just wondering whether um, actually um, one of the stitched rectangles might have fit quite nicely on there. So let's just grab those. What do we think? Yeah, that could be good. But what will, obviously, it's way too long. Uh, so what we can do is we can cut it twice so if we line it up in the first instance where we want it to be with that K and then run that through first and then what we can do is line the die back up so when we take this off like so we can shuffle the die along and because of the stitching find it will it will slot back into place if you have it on a flat surface so I can feel that is now um, locked in place with those little rivets but I'm just going to move it across another one I think there take that into place and say so the, the grooves in the die you'll feel them slot back into the grooves that were made by the original cut one of those things where you'll have to trust me on that one you will you will be able to feel it and there we go that's that I've now got stitching all round it but obviously much shorter than it was intended so that's how you can get um, a little bit more 
uh, leg room out of um, some of your basic shape dies. And in fact, actually, that one doesn't cut. That one's cut out quite nicely as well. Okay, so that was a stitch rectangle. That was. So where we want it, I think we might want it down here or something. There's a bit of a glue blob there, so maybe we put it up there, just, just cause, just cause we can. And like I said, some gilded gems might be nice. These are the gilded gems. Take your pick tool. We'll just use the smaller ones, I think. And then it's decided where to put them, of course. do like a triangle don't want it to slap in the middle because it will look too deliberate and there you are and I don't think those gold gems were are necessarily out of place if you wanted to give that to a guy okay that was quick and easy to do so just a reminder then this was the uh, timeless tropical and um, we've gone all autumn with and the uh, colors there were bumblebee terracotta tile cinnamon cider and early espresso okay as always there's all the links in the uh, description bar down there. Um, if you just click the little arrow, it'll, it'll expand and uh, there will be a, uh, a link to the blog post that lists all the um, things I've used on the card today. There will be a direct shop link as well to the stamp set. Uh, so you can put that straight into your basket. Okay, I'd appreciate uh, if you've liked this video just to uh, let YouTube know by giving me some thumbs ups and I share this with your friends uh, pass it on to people see if there's anybody else um, you think would enjoy that then uh, please share it with your friends thanks ever so much for joining me for this little um, little tutorial and have a good day okay take care everybody bye